Hello YouTube, I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. You know, it is really funny how you don't realize that you need something until the time comes that you actually need it. I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story of something that happened last week. This really happened. So last week, the electricity went out, as well as the internet. I don't know if it was a storm or what. It was just this block and two other blocks. So three blocks total. I have a neighbor who is elderly and low income, and she obviously does not have a power supply. She didn't even know what they were. I get a text early in the morning, which is what woke me up around eight in the morning. And the text says, is your electricity out? I said, yes, it's my neighbor. And I'm like, okay, yeah, the electricity is out. And she goes, I don't know what to do. She says, I've been awake since five in the morning. I'm freezing and I haven't had any coffee. And I said, give me 15 minutes and come on over. I'll put on a pot and I'll get you nice and warm. She didn't give me 15 minutes. So she comes over and my hair's all up here and I'm in a robe and, you know, no makeup on and good morning. <laughs> so she comes over. I pull out my power supplies. I turn on my electric fake fireplace. I turn on the TV, pop in a DVD. I don't remember what it was. Sorry. And then I pull out the coffee maker. I say, hey, you want a bagel with cream cheese? She says, yes. I pull out the toaster. I use it on the, the power supplies and I plug in my electric hand warmers and an electric blanket. I wrap her in the blanket, put on the warmers, sit her in front of the fireplace, and within five or ten minutes, she was toasty warm, she had her coffee, and she also had a bagel and cream cheese. And in right after that happened, she says, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I have to drive like 12 miles to my son's house to um, to power up my cell phone. So I have a whole bunch of power supplies. I give her a little teeny tiny one. And I say, here, just take this, um, you know, plug in your cell phone. It'll charge it right up. No problem. And the electricity was out for two days, that day and the next day. And the next day she, she texts me, she says, can I buy this from you? And I, I know she's low income and I'm an elderly. And I'm like, no, uh, you can have it. It's a gift, you know, just take it. And she goes, okay, but I want to buy another one. <laughs> and so I gave her a really great deal on the second one, gave her the first one for free. And she's sending the second one to her son. And, you know, it's one of those things where you don't realize what a difference you can make for somebody else. And not only a difference for yourself, but for somebody else when the electricity goes out. We have developed a really great friendship over the last couple of weeks. I personally got pneumonia and she came to my rescue. She brought me Claritin, Tylenol, Tylenol PM. She picked the oranges off of my tree for them and handed them to me. And I was in a much better position just because of the electricity going out and having the power supply back up in order to get somebody warm, uh, get them entertained with a movie and get them some, a bagel and cream cheese, a pot of coffee. It makes such a huge difference in morale. And it, it's really strange. You just, you don't, people think of it as a luxury item. They think I can't afford this. If I were to go back in time and I'm completely dead broke, paycheck to paycheck, I barely have any savings, I would find a way to save up for a power supply and an e-bike. Those are the two things in my prepping supply that I will not go without. They, they are a, a lifesaver. They are a morale changer, you have no idea. So today we're going to be talking about the Dobson DBS 1300. And this is a power supply that I also used while my neighbor was visiting. And let's go ahead and get to it.
The Dabson DBS 1300 is a simple to use plug and play unit that will take care of all of your backup power needs for your home as well as outdoor adventures. It weighs approximately 36.4 pounds and it is 14.25 by 8.7 by 10.8 inches. It has a capacity of 1,330 watt hours on its own, but you can also add extension batteries, which we will talk about a little bit later. It also supports 2.4 gigs of Wi-Fi. It is ETL FCC We CA65 certified. This particular unit includes four AC output ports, 1200 watts total, two USB A ports at 12 watts, a USB A fast charge at 18 watts, one USB C port at 100 watts, two USB C ports at 60 watts, and it has a car charger at 126 watts and two DC 5521 output ports at 50.4 watts per port. There's also a two watt LED. LED light for ease of use in the dark. The input ports allow for 1000 watts via an AC input charge. There's also an AC input voltage of 100 to 120 volts and a solar input that will allow for 400 watts. With two add-on batteries, you can add a total of an additional 3400 watt hours. The battery composition is Life PO4 style, and it is good up to 4,000 cycles at 80% capacity. And in case you were wondering, the typical life cycle of a power system like this is 3,000 3, cycles. So having 4,000, it allows you to use this unit for several years without the worry of losing any battery power. And don't forget that even after the 4,000 cycles, you will still be able to operate at a full 80% and after that, you have pass-through generation on a unit that will always work. This means that you can power it via 400 watts of solar, and you can use that 400 watts while the solar is coming in. Of course, this is not really something that you're going to have to worry about anytime soon, given that it is going to take more than 10 years of daily use to even start to see a dip in battery capacity. The easy to read LCD display of the Dabson DBS 1300 has a lot of indicators, which is going to help you better operate your power supply. The LCD screen has indicators for error codes, overload warnings, AC output frequency, USB-C output, remaining charge and discharge time. It also has remaining battery percentage, pairing indicator, low temperature warning, connection failures, DC output, extra battery indicator, input power, Wi-Fi status, output power, high temperature warning, AC output, USB-A output, solar panel indicator, battery level indicator, and fan indicator. Please note that there is also an app control that is available for this unit. However, personally, I have issues with my phone and I am unable to download or upload any sort of app. However, the app will show you via a Bluetooth connection for your Android or iOS, many of the LCD screen indicators that were discussed.
When you receive your new Dabson power supply unit, you will also receive a charging cable, a car charging cable, AC charging cable to plug into your wall at home in order to charge it, a user's manual, warranty card, and a warning card. The DBS 1300 is going to be able to support a parallel function, which can increase the output power and expand the battery capacity. When using the Dabson junction box, as well as a connection wire or wires, two products can be connected and the output power will increase to 2000 watts and the battery capacity will be expanded all the way up to 2660 watt hours. At the same time, the unit also supports parallel operation. The parallel junction box and connecting wires are purchased separately, as well as the batteries. This unit can support several batteries and it can be expanded up to 9,460 watt hours. That is more than enough storage capacity to make a home very comfortable for several days without even recharging. However, if you choose to set up this system with your 400 watts of solar input, the possibilities are nearly endless. All right, everybody, I hope that this video has been useful. I have checked this power supply using the TV. I was even able to use one of the lower settings on the 1500 watt fireplace. Lower setting, don't not the full setting of the 1500 watts because this is a 1300 watt unit, but I was able to use it on the medium and low settings. I was able to use it on the refrigerator, vacuum cleaner, washing machine, pretty much you name it, any sort of appliance that you can plug in at home, as long as you don't have one of those really like old school appliances that uses a kajillion watts. We're a lot more energy efficient these days. This thing will power pretty much anything that you need at any given time if the power goes off or if you're trying to live off grid. This one gets a thumbs up for me and I really hope that this video has been useful. I will leave all links down in the description box if you decide that this is one of the units that you want to purchase. Do what you can with what you got. Prepper Princess out.